this for truckers and today this is a couple problems I just started having with my pack car engine. The first thing I noticed when I started checking the oil I noticed it was a little bit low so what I did I looked around the engine looked over here around the turbo where the oil line goes to the turbo and everything and all that couldn't find an oil leak at all so I started looking around the oil pan and I started seeing oh there's a little bit of oil right there and I remember before I had this oil pan bolt uh, it just vibrates and comes right out so they got to re keep replacing that oil pan bolt all the rest seem to stay in but also a common problem with these pack cars is this is a composite oil pan instead of aluminum for some reason and so it cracks a lot and it'll leak but anyway I was I looked underneath there more oil oh, it looks like it's on the other side then I seen on this side it's, it's just covered in oil all fresh oil and that uh, oil pan bolt I don't know if you can see it or not it's totally missing you can actually see it dripping down that stud right there so I'll have them fix that when uh, it gets to the shop but I also noticed something else come with me if you remember in my other pack car video where I'm telling you about common problems with it I told you about this EGR cooler I, it clogs up and everything our EGR system it clogs up you can see how much soot is on there but don't touch it it's thousand degrees or 500 but then I also noticed that now believe it or not that is coolant now when it's 500 degrees that's what it looks like and you know it's just liquid when it's inside but what that is is the EGR cooler and it runs coolant circulates it through here to cool down the EGR uh, gas what it does is take exhaust gas runs it back through the intake obviously you don't want that 600 degree air into the engine so it pre-cools it with the coolant and the heat exchanger anyway that line's leaking they tightened up that bolt and it actually made it worse so what you guys need to do is just replace this whole line here and I'm sure there's a uh, o-ring in there looking at the way that flange is you remember in that other video I told you about this clamp here well that one's not leaking now but you can tell that that clamp is leaking and then also there on this they call this a preformed coolant hose and it's leaking and I had one crack on me but that was an older one and, and a Canadian truck so I don't think that one's cracked but uh, mechanics will have to check it out just something I noticed and so been losing a little bit of coolant but nothing cr too crazy it can wait till the next oil change but yeah so these are just a couple of uh, problems I just had recently with my back car and I just wanted to let you guys know these are these are actually very common problems with these so keep an eye out for leaks with these back car engines I told you it didn't it doesn't burn any oil or use any oil that's as long as it's not leaking.